Well, I, I think that's been the trend of the last few years, Adam. Great to be with you this morning. But what we're seeing are the uh, U.S. companies increasingly active in China. We work with about 50 uh, U.S. brands, and almost every single one of them is participating in uh, this sale day. Look, this is the largest sales day in the world. So people are offering discounts, promotions, special outreach activities, and the Chinese consumers the benefit. Yeah, and just to put this into context for our viewers, Frank, we just want to talk dollar signs. In the first hour of today, and it's not even 7 a.m., Alibaba has announced they've sold $2 billion worth of goods. Now, compare that to Singles Day last year on Tmall. Uh, Alibaba sold $5.8 billion. So we're not even a third of the way through the day, and they're reaching almost a third of that amount from last year. So obviously, this is something, a day that companies would be very interested in getting in on. Now, do they have to go through a company like yours to get exposure to China? Or, or could a company in the U.S. just post their products on Tmall by themselves? Right. No, you're, you're absolutely correct. We're really, we're really in existence to help the companies that don't have that capability. So the global majors, the, the Nikes of the world, don't need a company like us to provide that kind of support and assistance. But the next tier down, and the next tier could be a multi-billion dollar company. They need help with customs clearance, warehouse operations, financial settlement, r regulatory approval. That's where we help out. And Frank, talk to us about uh, whether you're the only game in town and sort of uh, being acting as a bridge between these U.S. companies to the Chinese market. Or are there other players out there that do similar things? Sure, there are. And look, if the company has, if, if the U.S. company, for example, has uh, China operations, its ability to do this on their own or, or through a, a, a managed effort is much greater, meaning you can go through the Shanghai phone book, so to speak, and find warehouse operators and find web design firms, and you can put together your own team if you're in Shanghai. But for the offshore companies, it's just that much harder. But there are plenty of warehouse operators in Shanghai. There are plenty of graphic design teams. There are even fulfillment teams you can you can call. But our, our, our real specialty at Export Now is that we can handle somebody calling us directly from Europe or the United States who doesn't have that in-country presence. Now, Frank, I was online and checking some of the sites of the brands that you help out in China. And all of the websites are in Chinese, obviously, because you're targeting the Chinese consumers. But Alibaba has said they're reaching out to 200 different countries. So if you don't speak Chinese and if you don't read Chinese and you want to take advantage of some of these huge discounts today, how do you go about and do that? Well, well, you're right, Pauline. It's primarily for the Chinese consumer, but increasingly around the world, uh, consumers are keying into this. And you can go to the Alibaba.com platform or the AliExpress platform if you want to key into those Chinese manufacturers who are offering discounts. I think you'll find the discounts and promotions pretty pervasive within China on Tmall and Taobao, but I think you'll mm -hmm. find them increasingly so on AliExpress and Alibaba.com. You know, Frank, uh, uh, Amazon.com, of course, is absolutely massive in the United States. But then we talk about uh, potentially one day Alibaba sort of making roads into the U.S. market. Do you think that they can make that a success uh, with Amazon.com, of course, first to the market, at least in that uh, geography? Yeah, Adam, I think there are parallels in each country, which is to say this B2C platform is, a, is somewhat of a natural monopoly with, with Alibaba dominating the United States and Amazon dominating in the U.S. However, as you suggest, there are niches and there are areas uh, of opportunity for each company to compete to some extent in the other markets. So Alibaba launched 11 Main as a platform in the United States, and Alibaba is heavily involved in some of the other platform type activities, uh, IT sector and logistics sector in the U.S., but I don't think they're trying to directly take on Amazon head to head. All right, Frank, thank you very much for giving us your insight today. I know it's going to be a busy day for you as Singles Day uh, is hitting 7 a.m. Hey, hey, here on November 11th. Pauline, yes. I'll leave you with one final comment. I think it's going to break $9 billion today. It's not going to hit $8 billion. It's going to be $9 billion wow. in sales today. So look for that record. <laughs>